Sal, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much. I know that you have started performing at a young age and you've recently rebranded as Sal. Tell us a little bit about how that process went and that evolution to the artist you are today. Yeah, I, I guess over lockdown, I kind of had a feeling that I wanted to go in a different direction musically, artistically, and I had, I felt like I was kind of holding back a lot. And I just really wanted to just push past that mm -hmm. and allow myself to just be the artist I want to be, I suppose, without boundaries and just be unapologetic about it. So, yeah, I decided to change my name to Sal because a lot of my close friends and family all call me Sal anyway, so it kind of fit and... Yeah, it just felt right. It felt like the right direction. So, yeah. yeah. So I know that you incorporate a lot of influences and inspiration into your music and your songwriting. We'll start with uh, your inspiration. Well, what inspires you when you're writing? Usually it's my own experiences, so my own life experiences or things that I see. Like in particular, these last few songs, there's been a, a mixture of like a lot of visuals of like merry-go-rounds and uh, red wine, like a lot of kind of cosmic influence and that's kind of in terms of the visuals and that then mixed with I guess trying to navigate my 20s and trying to navigate all of the things that come along with that the chaos and the, the magic and how it can be so kind of uh, it's very versatile a, very, a mix of a lot of things so yeah just trying to navigate that and I guess a lot of my lyrics would be quite dark in ways but I, I think it's important to talk about the things that sometimes we're afraid to talk about through words doing it through song sometimes yeah. is like really really cathartic so I know you also do a mix of like blues and pop maybe a little bit more pop now what's on Sal's playlist what are you influenced by it's really mixed like Dolly Parton is my favorite singer and songwriter and probably person of all time so she really influences me uh, Stevie Nicks definitely and then I love like Annie Lennox as well um, I love a lot of Billie Eilish too I think she's incredible so it's really, yeah, super varied and Arctic Monkeys would definitely be in there. So a lot of influences from a lot of different styles and I definitely found when I moved from Kildare to Cork as well, being around like so much blues and jazz with the jazz festival and from going to college here, that definitely infiltrated in with Melody Gardo and Erica Badu and sounds like that as well. So yeah, super, super varied. I often it's find it hard very to pinpoint it. Yeah. <laughs> And if people like what they hear today from your, your session down here in Cypress Avenue, where can they see you performing next? So I'm in the middle of a tour at the moment. Um, it's called Bloom, uh, just to celebrate spring. And I have done the Cork date already in Mayo. Um, I'm playing in Kilkenny this weekend. And I have a few other dates on that tour kind of coming up across Ireland. But they're all on my my website, so salmusic.ie. You have been touring, you've new music coming out. What are your goals? Not just for 2023, but I suppose going forward. Um, they definitely would be perform, like just to keep performing. I love performing. I'm, I've kind of been performing since since quite a young age, but for me, that's like the the magic place. That's like the 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 place that's kind of my, my most favourite thing to do, my happy place, I suppose, would be performing and recording too. But yeah, just keeping doing that and connecting with people through my songs. And yeah, that's kind of number one for me, really. 